you know, they say the internet is a great place to waste time, but isn't it ironic that we're all so busy wasting time that we don't have time to waste? Think about it. The internet was supposed to be this grand invention that saved us time. No more trips to the library to research, no more waiting for the evening news to get your daily dose of what's going on in the world. It was supposed to be quick, efficient, and save us all those precious minutes we seem to be running out of. But here's the kicker. The internet, the very tool that was supposed to conserve our time, has become one of the biggest consumers of it. It's like a relentless beast that cannot be appeased, a voracious monster that's always hungry for more. Take social media for example. We log in for a quick peek and before we know it hours have slipped by. We've scrolled through countless posts, liked a few pictures, watched a couple of videos, and then looked up to find that the sun has set and the day is over. The same goes for those binge-watching sessions. We lose ourselves in the world of television series, one episode after another, until we've lost track of time. And let's not forget about those endless news feeds. We could spend an entire day scrolling, reading and scrolling some more, only to find that we're no more informed than when we started. It's like trying to drink from a fire hose. The irony of it all is that we're so busy trying to save time that we end up wasting it in the most grandiose ways. We're like hamsters on a wheel, running in circles but getting nowhere. So, in the grand scheme of things, are we really saving time or just trading it for something else? It's a question worth pondering, don't you think? And while you're at it, consider this. Time, unlike physical currency, cannot be recovered once it's spent. So, how are you spending yours? We've all heard the saying, time is money. But what if we took it literally? What if time was actually a currency? Picture yourself as a time trader. Your life as a vast blockchain. Every second a precious coin. Every minute a booming investment. Every hour a golden goose. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's dive into this concept a little deeper. Like any other currency, time has value, right? We trade our time for money when we work. We trade it for knowledge when we study. We trade it for joy when we spend it with our loved ones. So, if time is a currency, it's one that we're all born with an equal amount of each day. 24 golden hours, 1,440 shimmering minutes, 86,400 sparkling seconds. Now consider this. In the world of cryptocurrency, tokens like Bitcoin or Ethereum are valuable because they're finite. There's a limited supply, and once they're gone, they're gone. The same applies to time. Every second that passes is a second that you'll never get back. It's a finite resource that you can spend but can't earn more of. But here's where it gets really interesting. Just like you can invest your Bitcoin or Ethereum and watch its value multiply, you can invest your time and reap dividends too. Learning a new skill, building a relationship, creating something. These are all ways of investing your time that can pay off in big ways down the line. And just like with cryptocurrencies, there's a risk involved. You could waste your time just like you could make a bad investment and lose your Bitcoin. Every minute you spend, mindlessly scrolling through social media, every hour you waste on unproductive tasks, is like throwing your precious time coins into a black hole. So, what's the takeaway from this? Time, like money, needs to be managed wisely. It needs to be spent on things that matter, invested in ways that yield returns, and saved from being wasted. Just think about it, every minute you waste could be a Bitcoin lost. Now let's imagine losing time like losing money. Sounds dramatic, doesn't it? Imagine this scenario. You've been planning to learn about the latest cryptocurrency trend. You've bookmarked articles, downloaded podcasts, and even bought a book. But days turn into weeks, weeks into months, and that book remains unopened, those articles unread, those podcasts unheard. You've effectively lost time and in turn, potential knowledge and wealth. Or consider this. You're a dabbler in the cryptocurrency market. You've got a few coins here and there, nothing major. But instead of keeping a close eye on the market trends, you spend hours aimlessly scrolling through social media, watching funny cat videos, or engaging in internet debates. The market takes a downturn, and by the time you notice it's too late, your digital assets have plummeted in value. Once again you've lost time, and this time it cost you money. We've all been there, haven't we? Procrastination, disorganization, or just getting lost in the maze of the internet. These seemingly harmless habits are the thieves of time. They steal away our precious minutes and hours, leaving us with missed opportunities and regrets. Here's the kicker. When you lose money, you can always make it back. You can work extra hours, sell something, or maybe even get lucky and find a forgotten $20 bill and an old pair of jeans. But when you lose time, there's no way to get it back. It's gone, vanished, disappeared. It's the one currency you can never earn more of. And just like with money, the way you spend your time determines its value. 
Spending it wisely can lead to knowledge, fulfillment, and success. But wasting it? Well, that's like throwing your money down the drain. So the next time you find yourself mindlessly scrolling through your phone or putting off that task for later, remember, time is the most valuable currency you have. And once it's gone, it's gone for good. Remember, unlike money, you can't earn back the time you've lost. So, if time is the most valuable currency, how should we invest it? Well, the answer is as varied as the people who ponder it. However, there are strategies that successful people have used to invest their time wisely and achieve their goals. Consider the concept of deep work espoused by productivity expert Cal Newport. This strategy involves dedicating uninterrupted blocks of time to a single task, allowing for focused, in-depth work. It's akin to digging a well. You won't strike water by hopping from spot to spot, digging shallow holes. You have to commit to one location and dig deep. Then there's the Pareto Principle, also known as the 80-20 rule, which suggests that 80% of results come from 20% of effort. By identifying and focusing on the tasks that yield the most significant results, we can invest our time more effectively. We can also look to the titans of industry for inspiration. For instance, Bill Gates, co-founder of Microsoft, is known for his Think Weeks, where he would isolate himself to read and think big thoughts. Warren Buffett, one of the world's most successful investors, also credits his success to reading extensively and thinking deeply. But it's not just about work. Investing time wisely also means carving out time for rest and rejuvenation. Ariana Huffington, founder of the Huffington Post, is a vocal advocate of sleep as a productivity tool. She argues that by investing time in rest, we can be more effective, creative, and successful in our waking hours. In this age of constant connectivity, it's easy to fall into the trap of being busy without being productive. But remember, time is our most valuable currency. It's a non-renewable resource. Once spent, it cannot be regained. So take a leaf out of the books of these successful individuals. Invest your time in deep work, apply the Pareto Principle, carve out time for thought and rest. Prioritize, focus, and remember to take care of yourself. In the end, the best investment you can make is not in stocks or cryptocurrencies, but in yourself and your time. So, to sum it up, time is not just money, it's the most valuable cryptocurrency we have. This is the point we've been hammering on and it's a point worth repeating. It's a concept that's as intriguing as it is true. Let's quickly recap our journey through this concept. We began by exploring the irony of internet time, where we're constantly connected yet often feel we don't have enough time. We're bombarded by information, tasks, and distractions, and in this digital jungle, it's easy to lose track of our most precious resource, time. We then delved into the old adage, time is money. But we've evolved this saying and established that time is much more than just money. It's a currency that, unlike any other, cannot be earned back. It's a commodity that we can't store or save. Each moment that passes is a moment that we'll never get back. And then we examined the cost of wasted time. We looked at how disorganization and lack of focus can lead to squandered time. The tragic irony of this is that while we can't physically see or touch this loss, it's as real as the coins in our pockets or the digital numbers in our cryptocurrency wallets. But it's not all doom and gloom. We also discussed how we can invest our time wisely. Just as we invest in stocks or crypto, we can invest our time in activities and pursuits that yield returns. These returns could be tangible, like money or skills, or intangible, like happiness or satisfaction. The key is to be conscious and intentional about how we spend our time. In essence, time is the ultimate cryptocurrency. It's the one resource that we all have, yet its value is often underestimated. But unlike Bitcoin or Ethereum, we can't mine for more time. We can't trade or sell it, and most importantly, we can't recover it once it's lost. And remember, unlike physical currencies and even cryptocurrencies, once time is gone, it's gone for good. So spend it wisely.